makes Loot Dome so crucial. The fact that you're getting two different feelings at one time. You're getting a, a crazy, um, a crazy stroke. But well, you're getting three different things. You're getting a crazy stroke with fingers tickling your actual penis. Stroking up and down. Hold on, so you're getting stroke. All right, so yeah, you're getting a couple different feelings in one. Not only are you getting up and down sucks, so you could technically get like five or six feelings at one time. So if I'm kicking back, getting flu dumb, right? Flu dumb, you gotta like tell a chick about it. Flu dumb. If a chick automatically hops in your dick and know how to do flu dumb, you got yourself a skeezer. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me put the chat on here. Basically, you get multiple feelings. So you get your your actual head sucked, correct? So she's sucking your head, jacking off your head, twisting your head, and flute doming your head at the same. I mean, flute doming your dick as well, and at the top of your head as well. So you're getting like four to five different feelings with flute dome. To the point where it's that type of top where you just gotta just lay back and be like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> If you haven't had that type of top, you haven't had top. <laughs> I mean, anybody could just get a head. But we're talking about the type of head where it's just so ridiculous. You just like, your body just has to surrender to the feeling. You're just like, every man in here if you haven't had that type of dome where you gotta surrender to the head is so bomb like there's nothing else your body could technically do like it feels so good you almost might want to pass out so you just give in to it just like you haven't had top now tell me is there any vagina in the world that'll make you feel like that no i'm telling you man sometimes the best top will be better than that hot patch There ain't no chick with pussy that bomb. Where you just slide in like, oh! Like, as soon as you put it in, you just take it. Oh. You're like, oh! You pull it out real quick. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta go slow, I gotta go slow. Ah. 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 Alright, I gotta stop. <laughs> nah. Nope. <laughs> Man, I don't. That match is so old. Killer Miller what was that 2018? Had to have been. Ain't no such thing as pussy that bomb. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not, there's some shit out there that's hot fire, but not to the point where you're just like kicking back. Like, you just ride, you, your eyes, they crossed, and you're just twitching. You're just laying there like, oh, 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 oh. Like, nah. Which race? You mean which ethnicity gives the best head? I don't think that's an exclusive thing. Any woman from any ethnicity can give you ridiculous top. But I'm going to tell you this off tops. If you get your dick sucked and a woman off top knows how to destroy your dick and put your actual 
your dick is literally like here's your body and your dick's in another dimension just filling all types of wormholes go past it all type of alien molecules go all through your head and you're still in this galaxy this dimension she sucked a lot of dick but if you have a chick that you told her how you like things to go you told her little tricks you like and then she just evolved into this bomb ass head giver that's a different story but if a chick just hops on your dick like then you just like I mean ex ex love it and ex and, and appreciate it but at the same time like damn this bitch is a geezer like you know she just sucking half the dick I could live oh yeah interested in white girls shit women are women to me now I must have I'm telling you my dude you just haven't had good time if I could just get exclusive top for the rest of my life, I would just take that over pussy. Because with pussy, it's a gamble. It could be extra foul. You could slide in. It could not be that good. You know, it could just make you feel weird after you fuck. But if you get a woman to give you some proper top. It's like, all right, thank you. Ooh, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Is where's this nigga rocks in here with the gay shit? Like, imagine a, imagine a, a, a rope, like some of that a robot top, like robotic top. Like you don't even. It's just a machine, and the machine is already like this. And you come home and it's like an Alexa machine, right? It's an Alexa machine. So it's already in this position. You come home, you're like, Alexa, let me get the robotic flute dome special on speed one. And the robot's like, as you wish, please pull out your penis. You just pull out your dick and a robot's like, <laughs> and then you just give her like different commands and then the, the robot would just do weird shit like head spinning dome like shit humans can't do the head would just be like around your dick like and you're like oh and you can just Exactly. I'm telling you, like, the future is where it's at when it comes to sex. I'm telling you, I think the future will need humans less and less to please ourselves. If you could come home and just get the best top of your life from a robotic headpiece, wouldn't you do it? Wouldn't your lust for actual sex from a different partner, right? Wouldn't actual lust almost disappear? If you can get robotic cyborg top to where you're just like, oh, 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 oh. it would actually help. It would actually help infidelity because the risk you have to take with STDs, dirty bitches, and vice versa. I mean, men are out here dirty too for these chicks as well. But imagine just going home and you chicks too. Imagine you just go home to just literally a BBC where it can heat up for you like an actual organic dick. And you just, you lay there, it's different things. You It's a stroke machine, right? It's just a pelvis and a BBC. And it can grow to which each, each girth you need. It's an organic girth. It can come out this way or it can go limp. If you like it extra deep and girthy, we go so I'm taking it out. The BBC is just growing like robotic BBC. It just comes out versus like this, a little black top. And just, just say, I'll take the, I'm going to move for about seven inches today and about two and a half inches of girth. And could you heat it up to about uh, 60 degrees today? As you wish. <laughs> Heats up, and then it's just the pelvis that just strokes the woman like it, 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 it's 
speed up. <laughs> like, how can you compete with that? How can you compete? How could a woman compete with robotic top? And how could a man compete with a pelvis? With a with a let me think of a word for this. The pelvis dominator that can actually change its actual dick size and temperature of its cock, of its robotic cock, to please a woman. There's no risk involved. And would you really, how many of you guys would get mad if you came home and your wife was just getting pounded by the cyborg BBC? Would you, would you get upset? Or would that still be considered cheating? just came home i mean we already know like we already know you white guys are very passive right so you come you guys are come home and your wife would just be getting pounded by this by this mechanical bbc and you're like oh hey honey um uh, i'm gonna go upstairs and uh change take a shower i'll see you down for dinner uh you'll be done what time but imagine like a black dude come home right or an hispanic dude comes home and you just see like this you just see this mechanical pelvis just, just bursting your wife got the cream cascade and splashing everywhere because it's just doing shit you can't do Ooh, humans wear the genetic peak if you don't got a bbc sorry there ain't no way you're getting one but this machine can grow in girth growing size and give your woman the best orgasm she ever had in her life and she's not out there cheating but she's fucking this this mechanical cyborg bbc imagine a black dude it was over. I'm not, I'm not even. I'm not even cheating. The simple. I'm coming home, and you still fucking this thing. Like I had pussy in two weeks. Every time I come home, you fucking this goddamn robot. It's over. And we don't want to talk about Mexican man. They just gonna grab that bitch from the back of the air. What the fuck? What the fuck you doing? Fucking me? Play the fucking machine. You're supposed to be fucking me. I am your husband. Just imagine, man. Anyways, though. We don't even want to talk about what Asian man will do. The Asian man come home and his wife is fucking a mechanical machine? We might not ever see her again. <laughs> African man too. You think of African and Asian men, a woman can't own a mechanical BBC. Your ass is likely to end up never heard from again. We don't even want to talk about what an Arab man would do to their woman if they came home and their woman was fucking a mechanical BBC. Oh, it's over for you. There's three types of men a woman does not want to be married to in the future when we come out with these, these robotic sexual mechanics. Black men from outside of the US that are from islands in different countries, Asian men, and Middle Eastern men. You are going to pay dearly. But I'm telling you, shit like that would actually stop infidelity. Turbo top from a robot. Like no, no woman is gonna give you exorcist dome. There's no woman on the planet that can give you exorcist dome. If you know what exorcist dome is, that's what we're talking about. Exorcist dome is where the bitch is basically playing. What's that? What's that game you play where you like? You spin the, you have a, a bat and you just go around the bat like this in a rope, but it's your dick and the robot just has your dick sucking it in a fucking, uh, in an exorcist shit where the head just keeps spinning. But that's what we need. We need something to kill birth rate worldwide to slow down the population growth. I don't watch hentai or whatever the fuck that is. I would never watch cartoon sex. The fuck could I get out of that? 